All right, all right, you're looking at a screen. How cool are you? You feeling pimp right now? Feeling gangsta? You feeling lucky punk? No, lots of lines I could use for that. But guys, I'm not just gonna have you stare at the screen for the next, you know what? Let me get back to you on that, however long this video is. But anyways, what you're looking at is iOS 5. But more importantly, what you're looking at is a blank screen or with a Rapsol screen protector, guys. Hey guys, it's Matt from Ultimate City Source, and today I do have a screen protector review and overall body shield review of Rapsol products. Uh, this was sent out to me by the folks at Rapsol who were very nice and sent this out. Even though there was someone who tried to impersonate me who tried to get these items instead of me. They got it all sorted out, and I want to thank them for that. Now let's just get started with the review. First thing you'll notice with this is it is a glossy screen protector. It is not an anti-glare or one of those flat finished screen protectors, which in my personal opinion is the better of the screen protectors. Not because of the fingerprint issue, but because it doesn't reduce screen quality at all. And because we know this is not a retina display yet, at the time of this video, we know that the screen can't get, you don't want to cut down how blurry this, or you don't want to improve how blurry this looks. You want to try to get every single pixel out of your iPad. So, why put an anti-glare on it? I mean, especially because the iPad's so big, you'll probably never need to use it in that heavy of glare. Like, I want to know how many of you guys actually walk around busy streets of LA, New York, Chicago, um... Orlando, I don't know, Seattle, I walk around carrying this and reading like a newspaper on it. Get back to me on that, how many of you? Okay, anyways, so really, since you're using this a lot in your house or in an office building or something, why put an anti-glare on it? Exactly. So, this is where the Rapsol comes in. The Rapsol is a nice, high-quality screen protector that actually feels, it's just very nice, scratch-resistant, but the biggest thing with it is, you can even see, but I can feel it the most, is... I read something about saying this is the most glass-like screen protector in terms of actual how much resistance your fingers caused by it and it definitely feels like that. I don't even feel the screen protector on it here. In fact, my sister said she slightly feels it compared to the home button right here but she said she actually likes this more than she likes the actual glass and that's saying something about a product because my sister's so picky and it's like the screen protector is nothing short of amazing in how well it replicates the, gra the, grass, the glass on the iPad and iPhone. Honestly guys, I must say this is probably my favorite screen protector and I will show prices in a second but first let's go over a few key things on the Rapsol. So on the Rapsol you will notice, if you can see right there, it does have a slight cutout which is actually very nice so if you want to hold your iPad, it gives you a nice feel of the glass right there so you can remember what you used to have and it gives you a nice hold of the home button. Also gives you a nice feel when you're uh, using your iPad maybe in the dark, you can definitely feel where the home button is like that and the same thing happens up here the FaceTime camera or the VGA resolution front camera on the iPad 2. Um, so it's a very nice feel overall. Fingerprints wise you can see I am wiping it off kind of. That is because it gets some fingerprints. Obviously it's not prone or it's not like it's not God and it can't stop fingerprints. But I really hope that didn't offend any of you guys either. But I mean if it did sorry about that. But I mean overall it gets fingerprints but I must say it does a much better job of really cutting down fingerprints than compared to what the iPad's normal glass screen does. Because we all know, if you own an iPad, especially the iPad 2, it seems like, or even the iPad 1, it's like, s fingerprints are the worst thing because it's just, you have to tap that screen so much. Yeah, you tap that, I know, you perverse. But it's like, you you touch everywhere on the screen so much that it just stop, it stops looking clean at some point. And that's where Rapsol does a great job. It It gets fingerprints. There's no, there's no denying that, but it does a great job of kind of just really blending those in and you won't even notice it. I barely notice it until I'm looking at it right now. Like if you look at it closely, that's when you start to notice it. So now you're interested in this Rapsol, right? Aren't you? Yeah. Okay, good. So let's just take a look at the website real quick. Okay. So let's say if you're looking at the iPad and they don't only have iPad, they also have MacBook, game consoles like PSP and other such tablets like the Motorola Zoom it looks like. The Evo 4G, so obviously don't think this is just for it. Now I'll show you the iPad 2 one because this is what I have. Now these are also dry screen protectors in terms of if you have a Zag or Bodyguard, you know the biggest pain is that you have to squirt it down, which they do have the option for, but it's like you have to squirt it down and then you have to line it and let your phone sit there. I don't know what the Zag, it's like I think 18 hours on the Zag or something. It might be only 8 hours still, but it's a long time to go without your phone if you need it. Especially if maybe you're an adult and you use this for work or something. You need that as fast as you can. So this one you have the option for dry or wet one. Or you can get the hybrid dry and wet one. But you can see screen protector only. Let's see. 
If you go right here, you can see get, you can get the front and back or just the screen protector. The just the screen protector is thirty dollars, which I know some people who don't own iPads are gonna think that's a lot. But if you do own an iPad, you know the cheapest screen protectors are like fifteen bucks. So why not just add an extra fifteen dollars and get a really high quality screen protector that you're ne probably never gonna take off. I know I actually didn't put the iCarbon front on because I like the front or I like the screen protector so much, and I didn't. I really didn't want to put the iCarbons over that because I know you can, but why put the iCarbons over something that feels this good everywhere? So guys, that's the wrap so for the iPad 2. Let's just move on to the iPhone 4 one. Yeah, you didn't see my iPhone 4, did you? You also didn't see that it had the wrap so Okay, right there you can see it's got a fingerprint. Let's back that one off. Okay, now that we're doing buffing it. Oh, you have a cool little pattern right there. Okay, you can see the iPhone 4. Yeah, it looks very good. In fact, this is my replacement iPhone 4. So, this looks very good. It's a brand new iPhone. It's about, I want to say, two days old. Now this iPhone. And the minute I got home, I put this thing on. I was waiting for it, waiting for it. And I waited to get my replacement phone so I could put this wrap on. And I can say, I have no doubts doing that. Because, honestly, this feels amazing. You can see the camera cut out. You can't even see it on camera, really. Okay, there you can see it right there. The camera cut out. The biggest giveaway that this is a screen protector, I want to say, is the front right here. Yeah, right there. You can see it. But even that's not that bad because you won't really notice it after a while. This, again, like the iPad, does feel a lot like glass. All you can see, they kind of stick together if you stack it. Not that badly. And it's not going to break either of them. Don't worry. But it's very nice feel. This one does come with a side wrap. I don't actually have the side wrap installed so I can use cases without having like without having any issues because if you do put a side wrap you kind of do have issues with cases sometimes so I didn't do that yet um, yet being the keyword I might but you can see the front and back do feel just great they don't interfere with the speaker quality at all right there home button issues uh, aren't existent you don't really have any issues with that even with the side wrap you have access to all your buttons and you would fix the antenna issue pretty much uh, back you're less likely to scratch overall I like that idea. Obviously, it's not going to stop you from dropping and cracking it, but for scratches a lot, it helps. Fingerprints on this one are a little bit worse than this one, but that's probably because you're holding the back. The front's still, the front's a little fingerprint prone, but only when you put it in the right light. So this one, you do notice the fingerprints a little bit more than this one because you're out in the sun more with this one. So overall, they're both good products, and if you want the iPhone 4 pricing, you can just go right in here. I'll show you guys right here. Go up to Apple products oh, that's tablets sorry about this guys real quick okay we'll just load up you can see it's got phone and mobile and like I said this is not only iPhone 4 keep in mind they do have iPod touch they do have other Android phones so definitely go check out Rapsol uh, check out Rapsol go ahead and make a purchase if you want they have oh quick Blackberry so they have Blackberry you can see if you want they have pretty much every brand known to man they do also have ones that fit the AT&T one and the Verizon one or actually, I'm sorry, both fit the at and and Verizon one. Just depends on which color phone you have, too, you can decide. Now, these do also have the dry fit, and these don't have the wet fit option either. So these are dry fit only. Very nice issue. They do have the 24-hour bubble thing where bubbles start to escape. You can see right there's a little picture. You've got air bubbles 24 hours later. You've got that nice little animation. So these are $30. Also, for a total of $60, you can get... Both your devices protected if you have two of these. Maybe add an iPod Touch one in there if you have one. Definitely overall a good product. Uh, again, I want to thank Rapsol for sending this out uh, for review. So make sure you check out Rapsol.com for more information on this. Again, thanks. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.